welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain moment generating function of negative binomial distribution so first of all i give you uh, the probability mass function of negative binomial distribution so if you consider probability of x is equal to x is equivalent to be x plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 p power r q power x this is what the probability uh, mass function of uh, negative binomial distribution this can be also expressed as that is uh, another function i am giving to you that is minus r c x p power r minus q whole power x this is what the another kind of function that is if you if you do this if you convert this uh, you can also have another kind of uh, another form of negative binomial distribution probability mass function another form of pm probability mass function of negative binomial distribution is minus rcx p power r minus q whole power x usually we use uh, this is the this is what the function we go and use uh, in the calculation of the moment generating function right x takes the value 0 1 2 and so on and so on right uh, so here i write x the values of x 0, 1, 2 and so on and so on mm, up to infinitely many number of values it can be taken, it can be considered. Now the moment generating function mxt of negative binomial distribution is going to be considered for the, by the definition expectation of e power tx, expectation of e power tx, this is what the definition of MGF. For a discrete random variable, that is x is a discrete random variable since negative binomial distribution is a, takes a discrete uh, random variable, discrete values. So therefore, uh, we use the summation and x takes the value 0 to infinity. That's now we have discussed 0, 1, 2 and so on and takes the values and discrete values and uh, e power tx multiplied by p of x. So this is what the uh, definition of uh, uh, MGF expectation of e power tx. So, for which uh, x summation x equal 0 to infinity e power tx into I am writing p of x is this second form that is minus r c x and p power r minus q whole power x. Uh, at this stage, I will give you one more uh, uh, formula, okay, one more formula which is called. Uh, negative binomial expansion it is summation x is equal to 0 to infinity minus r c x minus r c x into minus q whole power x minus q whole power uh, x it is going to be uh, uh, this particular formula is nothing but 1 minus q whole power minus r this is what the formula 1 minus q whole power minus r this is what negative binomial expansion so if you consider 1 minus q a and b a minus b whole power minus r in which a is equal to 1 b is equal to q 1 minus q whole power minus r negative binomial expansion is summation x is equal to 0 to infinity minus r c x minus q into minus q whole power x this is what the negative binomial expansion one particular formula now i come back to the expansion is equivalent to b now you see here uh, summation depends on x so therefore p power r is a constant i am taking outside p power r small p whole power r and uh, remaining value summation x is equal to 0 to infinity this is minus r c x and this is also power of this uh, minus q uh, for this term minus q whole power x power is x here also e power t whole power x if you write e power t whole power x then you can write as combine these two minus q into e power t whole power x i am writing as minus q into e power t whole power x so minus q into e power t whole power x so then you see this is what the formula 1 minus q whole power minus r uh, summation x equal to 0 to infinity minus r c x minus q whole power x is equal to 1 minus q whole power minus r is by negative binomial expansion so similarly if you consider summation x is equal to 0 to infinity minus r c x minus q into e power t whole power x which means in the place of minus q we have minus q into e power t so then uh, uh, so that we can write uh, p power r into this is what we can write at binomial expansion 
negative binomial expansion 1 minus q into e power t whole power uh, minus r this is what the expansion 1 minus uh, q e power t whole power minus r this uh, formula is can be written as this expansion can be written as 1 minus q e power t whole power minus r so therefore it is equivalent to be this is also power of r we we consider this is in the denominator which means i write here p power r divided by 1 minus q into e power t the whole power r am i right power minus r in the numerator and if you take in the denominator it will be 1 minus q e power t whole power r plus r so therefore it is equivalent to be further step that is both are powers powers for both term both terms are r therefore p by 1 minus q into e power t the whole power r whole power r this is what the moment generating function mxt so mxt the moment generating function mxt for a negative binomial distribution is p by 1 minus q e power t whole power r so for example if q is equivalent to b if q is equivalent to b i am uh, considering capital q is equivalent to b 1 by small p and uh, uh, and small q is equivalent to b small q is equivalent to b capital p by q capital p by q therefore uh, uh, we can write uh, capital p is equal to which implies capital p is equal to um, small q into capital q so which means it is uh, it can be expressed as uh, uh, q into it is 1 by small p it is equal to q by p okay and uh, mm, actual assumption is small p is equal to small p is equal to 1 by capital q and small q is equal to capital p by capital q if you consider these two values uh, and thereafter q is equal to 1 by p and uh, mm, capital p is equal to small q by small p if you consider these values so then moment generating function can be expressed in terms of capital letters capital q and capital p um, it will be capital q minus capital p e power t the whole power minus r this is another this is another uh, formula of the moment generating function this is same as this is equivalent to be p divided by 1 minus q into e power t the whole power r we can use these two forms this is one particular form this is another form these are the two forms of moment generating function uh, of negative binomial distributions please remember study the two particular forms this is one first form this is the second form we can use any form thank you thank you very much